Hello and welcome everyone. Today is a special day and this is a special match. I have here Matthew. Hello Matthew. Hi everybody. He is uh, working on the Grey Goo game. Uh, on his side there's also a, another developer, Dad Vector. Uh, he's not with us on Skype for now. And also this is a developers versus fan match. So I have here a crazy fan about Grey Goo. Please meet Felix. Hello, Felix. Hello there. He will also be my teammate. So let's hope that <laughs> that we won't fail. <laughs> this will be a this will be a fun match. Uh, I lo I love this map. Um, I'm playing a different uh, faction. Uh, in fact, both of us here are playing different factions than we yeah, t typically do. We obviously try to play all three at some point um so it it, it i don't i maybe you guys will kick our ass who knows i i fully embrace it for that possibility we 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 shall see of course this is this is not a competitive match we just want to have some fun together all right so let's kick it um felix was telling me that um that the gray good developers worked on some really great titles in the past Felix yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah so uh, so as far as I know the core team of uh, uh, of petroglyph um, uh, oh, I forgot the word <laughs> consists of uh, uh, of several developers who even worked on the early Command and Conquer titles is uh, that right Matthew Yes, that's right. Uh, they're developers from Las Vegas, uh, Petroglyph Games, and they created, uh, they specifically created Star Wars Empire at War, and uh, a lot of the developers from those projects, the early pro, the first couple of projects by Petroglyph itself, were okay. um, were from Westwood Studios. That's cool. Yeah, uh, we're. We are a little nervous. This is our <laughs> first time. I mean, not everyone gets the chance to play uh, to play with the developers any of the games on the market. So it's really something new for us and and something we we are excited for. So Matthew and um, we would like to thank you and uh, the the dead vector for for giving us this chance. Really, we are really thrilled about it. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I don't know why developers don't do it more often. It's fun um, for both sides, so why not? Sure, it's, it's super. Oh, so, Felix, you might you might want to take care of that. You yeah, yeah, under yeah, attack. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I and, see. And don't rush for uh, for too many too many resources right now. Oh no, no, no. no. <laughs> yeah, that's quite the aggressive playstyle. All right, Matthew. So from what I see here, you are good. I mean, usually I'm just I'm just scouting. You don't don't mind me. I'm just you know checking things out. Usually, good players are uh, under attack. are playing like this. So I cannot uh, not notice that you are in the good place. All right, so let's see how. I'm planning to um, to really be a headache for you and your ally, but this in the in the late game. You won't escape. <laughs> uh, so uh, that vector is playing as uh, as the um, as the human, right? As far as I know, yes. Come on. Yeah, first unit kill. Pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. So, uh, dear viewers, if you didn't know, Matthew is also a uh, really huge fan of Supreme Commander Force Alliance Forever. Yeah, I have. Uh, I, I actually didn't check it when I was on Steam, but I'm pretty sure I'm over a few hundred hours on uh, Forge Alliance Forever, specifically. Some of the mods that have come out by the community have been pretty awesome. Uh, I can't wait to show you my deadly saucer attacks. 
Oh, we are looking forward to that. Uh, yeah, guys, Matthew will play with uh, Supreme Commander Forge Alliance. And, oh my god, how can I forget? We have a giveaway for you. <laughs> okay, Matthew. Uh, so basically, two lucky winners will win a copy of, uh, of uh, Grey Goo. And all you have to do is to let us know what uh, what do you like about Grey Goo and what is your favorite faction. Of course, you have to mention why. And uh, we will pick a winner on Sunday evening. The winner will be, the winners will be announced, and uh, yeah, they will be able to enjoy Grey Goo. Felix, what are you doing there? Oh, he is. Uh, harassing me so I'm basically having some fun right now with Matthew my revenge will be terrible hopefully <laughs> uh, you will be able to kick uh, some asses in Supreme Commander so hey yeah Supreme Commander. Mm -hmm. did you guys know there's a map editor for the game uh, is there a map editor for the game? There is a map editor for the game. So we are, I don't know if you want to call it a mod, really. It's map editor, trained editor, some people say. And it's the ability to just really create your own maps. So if you don't like this 4v4 configuration, you want to add a couple more spigots somewhere or change things up in some other way, uh, you, you can go into the map editor and make your own map. Oh, don't worry, I will do that. <laughs> All right, like now you should be trapped. Oh, yeah, trying a different playstyle and harassing me wherever you can. <laughs> nice one. So, thanks. Same situation thanks. right now. Uh, I'm not surprised. Do you need reinforcements? No, I don't know what I need. <sighs> However, I'm just trying to be better here. Grigu is clearly not my best choice right now. Well, I'll, g I'll give you a, a hint for the Goo faction. You're playing the Goo faction, right? Yes, yes. There are some maps, uh, most, all maps have some benefit to this, where the Goo can hide on mountain tops. So if you can find a, you know, get one of your artillery units and perch on one of the mountain tops, you can, you know, like say there's a mountain top next to a, a a clearly defined path from one base to another that most units seem to be traveling. You can perch up there and then fire those artillery into the units that are coming along. And I, w I may not be able to reach you. I, I, with standard units, I would not be able to. I'd have to get an air unit in there or something. Yeah, but the problem here is that I, um, I, uh, I am too early in the game to get those, uh, to get those artillery units to climb on the mountain, and you have been pre uh, you have been making pressure on me quite a bit. I think. But of course, the situation is changing. Oh, I think you should keep those troops to to defend your ass. My dear ally. Yeah, but they did what I wanted them to do. What's that? Oh. Harassing his resource production a little bit. Nice. nice. I'm proud of you. Ah, oh, thank you. You've made me proud today. Oh. So, uh, uh, Matthew, 
I have to tell you something about the campaign of Grey Goo. Sure. I'm in love with it. Oh, there you go. And I really look answer. forward. I really look forward to see to see more of it. And uh, honestly, you guys have done a great job with it. And uh, those cutscenes are incredible and really keep really gets you into it. I'm really yeah, happy. I'm really happy that uh, such a good strategy game came out so early in the year. I mean, I didn't expect it. Uh, from what I record, the game uh, the game didn't have a release date until um, close to January. So you've done a great job. <laughs> uh, thank you. It it we've we've been really happy with the community sentiment so far and what that they see and 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 what also needs to be done yet to it. I mean, there's things that we're going to be adding. I think you guys know that we're going to be adding replay mode, for example, and. Uh, observer mode so we have a couple of things that'll help on live streaming the game a little bit easier in the just down the road here mm -hmm. I understand I understand what you mean you you basically want to uh, to bring uh, to bring the game on a competitive level that's right we want to make it available on a competitive level not necessarily push it on a competitive level it'll be there for you if you want that to occur and if you don't and you want to just say gather a couple of guys over to somebody's house for a LAN party weekend you can do that too or if you just want to play by yourself in the campaign mode you can do that too so there's a little bit for everybody yeah 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 I understand yeah, it's it's really nice you don't you don't uh, not too many games have uh, have a uh, ranking system or a ladder system to, to keep track of your performance in the multiplayer and uh, usually games. I mean, Grey Goo focuses both the single player campaign and the multiplayer really, really well, actually. You know, it's a very big balance here. Usually, some games fail at multiplayer and uh, do good in the single player campaign, and sometimes. Um, I refer here to the strategy games fail both the single player and the multiplayer but you have really done a great job you did a great job of decimating my enemies there my <laughs> units that's not how I expected it to go wait you're playing with beta? yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay that was a good answer um Yeah, basically that's the reason why they hate me in Supreme Command. They give me too much time and they will simply overwhelm them. At least I will try it. Oh. That's nice. Uh, 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 Matthew, I don't know if you have seen, but uh, I got a lot of comments on my videos regarding... Um, Regarding the multi, oh. regarding the 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 great going the multiplayer. Usually, this faction is overpowered. You Not really, I because the, because the goo have no and uh, have no air units. So, in my opinion, that equals it a little bit. So, but yeah, in direct ground combat, the crew are very hard to beat. Yeah, we can say that again, but... Shall I give you a break, Matthew? No, absolutely not. Don't have mercy. Uh, Matthew, don't let us win this. <laughs> 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 I know we, we suck from the very beginning, but don't let us win this. It's gonna be a victory. We have to to. You see, because I'm a little bit in fear of that vector because we've that. seen not, uh, not a lot of him uh, yet, and that might oh, say no. that he is very dangerous. Oh 
Oh no. So hopefully he won't get on us with epic units. Oh, I think they're going for that. Oh, Matthew. Dear Matthew. I'm afraid. Never have enough resources. That's true. So how are you doing, Felix? Well, I have a very strong economy, I have a large army, I'm happy. Unit under attack. Okay, just being happy is not enough. We must well, Look at Matthew's base and you know how I feel. Oh, whoa, 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 What? Did you miss the whole fight? What fight? Yeah, I missed the whole fight. My enemy has a... Yeah, but I feel that Matthew is constructing a second base on the large resource for a in, uh, deposit in the east. Well, take care of that, bro. I will, don't I'm worry. I'm relying on you. Oh my god, you are spamming so many stalkers. <laughs> Dude. I told you that I needed a minute more in our last match. <laughs> yeah, honestly, you will lose with that. I don't see you too well in the future. I think you got me here, look at that. Produce more stalkers than I expected. Oh wait, okay. Yeah, I was expecting more from, uh, from Felix. More diversity in his tactic or in his units, but it looks like... He attacked me with stalkers, so I wanted to return the favor. Okay. I really enjoyed the game, Matthew. <coughs> yeah, it was a, uh, just uh, see what you can do with uh, my partner in crime here. I think he has a little better chance than I do at this point. Oh. Really? Yeah. I can't believe you are that mean. You sh you should have. Uh... He can get his revenge on Supreme Commander. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now now you know why everybody nukes you in Supreme Commander. <laughs> so don't complain about it ever. Oh, I only complain when you betray me. Never betrayed you. <laughs> And what was that in the last match? I only fight again. Not the train. Uh, I'm reaching the unit limit. Felix, Felix, watch my yeah. surprise here. Where? Bottom left corner. Ah, I see. Matthew. In Supreme Commander, I will be allied with you and we will nuke Felix together. I don't like him. Excellent. He, Sounds like usually, a <laughs> usually I ally against him because uh, he's a bit too, too fast when he, uh, he attacks the players and he kills them way too fast so I will have to <sighs> help him uh, understand. He doesn't have to kill Obra. Oh, what was that ping? I wanted to show you my surprise. Matthew, uh, question. Do... Oh, I see it. Matthew, do... Uh, do Mother Goose. I mean, if a Mother Goo stays around the purger, do the Mother Goo basically get... Uh, 
hit points because it's staying uh, near the purger. Uh, oh, there's no near-term benefit like that now. Okay, because someone left a comment and, uh, you know, I thought, hey. Oh, bro. Careful there. It's got some good walls going. Oh, no worries. <laughs> the walls are made to fall. As long as I produce faster than he kills, everything is fine. I have some units in the bushes. Okay, I need to get some of my units in the bushes. One. Oh, nice! He teleported the unit. But where? That's some nice base he has there. Yeah, it would be a shame if someone would destroy it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he has a lot of defenses here. Oh. Oh, you see how? Do, do you see how he developed the uh, conduits? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh! That's oh, that's that's bad. What happened? Oh. Well, half of them just disappeared. <laughs> 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 yeah. The perks of having a purger in your army. I should get a second one. Yes, I'm getting a second one now. Okay, let's have this thing destroyed again. Oh. Felix, yeah. what are you doing? Howard? Destroyed my army. Come and fight. Okay, as you wish, my lord. When, <laughs> when is your um, when is your uh, hand of rook ready? I don't know. I've never constructed it yet. <laughs> really? How long does it take? Does it take for you to build it? I have no idea. I just kill him via conventional no way. Is um, is that vector going for a uh, epic unit? I I can't say. I'm I'm not gonna tell you that for sure. If he is, oh no, he's not. But hey, it's been a while since I won a multiplayer match in in Grey Goose. Oh, bro. That looks nice for sure. Hey, Felix. Defeat. Good Yo. job, guys. Good <laughs> one. Thank you. Oh, Matthew. Thank you for uh, for playing with us. It has been a, a real pleasure. Yeah, you got me a lot quicker than I expected. I, uh, we'll have to change that next time. I'm sorry for that. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> we, should do, we should do, like you had mentioned in Supreme Commander, but actually... Um, you know what's Grey Goo is to uh, I'll partner with one of you, and then we'll, I'll get another developer here to uh, partner with the uh, with the, uh, with yes, the other yes, guy. I yeah. understand. I understand. So you know, make it a little more interesting that way. It doesn't always have to be community versus developer directly. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. Yes. Uh, anyhow, guys, uh, thank you a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, Matthew. Thank you for for being here. Also to to the Dad Vector. And uh, many thanks to the Grey Goo team for giving away the two codes for Grey Goo. So guys, tell us uh, why do you love Grey Goo and what's your favorite faction in order to participate in the giveaway. Thank you again. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.